everything I'm hearing is that they want a Trey Lance package to come up. And I talked about it on NFL Live a little bit yesterday, I think it was. The Trey Lance package was three first and a third. And that was to go from 12 to three. Um, and, and I like referencing that when I'm talking to NFC West team fan bases because you guys all get a chuckle of like, man, they give up three first and a third for Trey Lance. And, it, you know, it, that was, that was a, a steep price to pay for a guy who's now a backup with the Dallas Cowboys. But- That's NFL draft guru Matt Miller. He was a guest this morning on the Bickley and Murata show. And that would appear to be the price tag. Matt Miller suggested it today, Gambo. Um, Armando Salguero of OutKick wrote the same thing. Uh, Rick Spielman said the same thing on the With the First Pick podcast. Right now I got three voices, those three that I just mentioned, who are all saying right now the price for Minnesota is going to be three first-round picks if they want to come up and get their guy at number four. Are we surprised? No, not at all. Not at all. It's it's just – it's just a question of whether Minnesota's willing to do it. Because I suspect that if they are, if they're willing to pay that price, yeah. this is a done deal and it's over and the Cardinals will move down. Yeah. I, now, you know, the, 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 the Monty's in such a strong position here like because he doesn't have to do anything. He's got two first-round picks. He's got the number four pick in the draft. What's the price to come up? Here's the price. Well, could, will you budge on it? No, like that's the price. Like it, it's set. Like that, that's it. Take it or leave it. Like, take, like we're not we're not negotiating here. <laughs> You're asking me what would it take? Hey, it's like me going to you, Dave Burns. Hey, what would it take for me to buy your house? And you're like, you know what, eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I'll sell it to you. I'm like, hey, would you take seven fifty? You're like, no, eight fifty, and I'll sell it to you. There's like, there's no negotiation here. Like you, <laughs> pay me what I want, or uh-huh. go or, or take a walk. Yeah. Do I look like I'm negotiating? Right. Yeah, no, I'm not right. negotiating. Yeah, there's... right. This isn't a garage sale. Hey, will you take five dollars for it? How about four? Now, how about three? This is like they're not. You're not trying to get rid of the stuff that's there. You're not trying to get rid of it. You don't have to get rid of it. You know. So, like, if you're Amani, name your price, and it doesn't have to fall within any parameters or anything. Here's the price. If you want to pay it, pay it. If you don't, don't. I'm yep. fine. It's fine because like, I'm go fine. Go talk to somebody else. Because if you don't, I got number 27, and I got number 35, and I'll have the mm-hmm. power to move Good. up in the first round if I want Good. and get a different guy later in the first round, yep. and I'll get Marvin Harrison, and my I'll be happy, and my fan base will be happy. It's right. it's why when Sean Payton said back at the owners' meetings, it's good to be Monty Austin for it, he wasn't lying because it is good really – Really yeah. good to be Monty Austin for it right now. Because, Position of strength. Yeah, yeah, because he can – and it, look, if if it's out there like that, if Spielman's saying it and Salguero's saying it and Matt Miller's saying it, I, Minnesota knows. They know. They, they, they've, they've walked into the store. They've seen the price tag. Yeah. They've realized it's a non-negotiable price. We're not, right. we're not bickering about – and so Minnesota goes back into the parking lot, into the car, and they talk about right. it. Okay, how bad do we want it? How bad do we want J.J. McCarthy? Do we want him so bad that we're willing to give up our two first-round picks this year and our first-round pick next year in order to make it happen? What Matt Miller said is intriguing to me still. The Trey Lance package was three firsts and a third. I mean, is it even possible the Cardinals could get more out of Minnesota? In this deal, than just next year's first, could they? Force- I mean, there is a there is a point where you give them, you you give a price that, that that works for you, right? I mean, you also so if you're willing to give a price, that means you're willing to make a deal. You're willing to make a deal. You know, if if I if if I say, "Hey, I want to buy your house," if you're going to give me a price, that means you are willing to, but you also don't want to. You know, you, you got to be somewhat realistic. Okay, here's what I would take for it. Like, here's a realistic thing of what I would take for it. Like, it would take this much to get me to sell my house. It would take the – if you're money and not be like, hey, I want seven first-round draft picks. Like, okay, there's no conversation there. So be somewhat realistic, but be aggressive in your price point because you know you've got them over a barrel if they want your pick. But I do suspect that if Minnesota walks back into the store and says, okay, we'll, 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 we'll pay that price – I don't have any sources on this. This is my guess. My guess is that deal's a done deal. And that Monty will go, okay, fine. 11, yeah. 23, and next year's first. And go up and get yourself J.J. McCarthy and all. And now you'll yep. miss out on the other special wide receivers unless, and here's Matt Miller again today. Move back up. Here's what he said. I think for Monty, if they want to sit there and say, hey, at four, we have a chance to take the best wide receiver prospect probably since A.J. Green. Uh, so, we're comfortable doing that. If you guys want to come up to get a quarterback, it's going to cost you, and it's going to cost you a lot. 
the beauty that I think we forget about sometimes is let's say Arizona trades back from four and they pick up 11 and 23 from the Minnesota Vikings plus a 2025 first rounder. Now you have 11, 23, 27, and 35. You control the draft in many ways, and you have now that flexibility. You could come back up the board if you want from 11, like they did last year. You know, they trade it back, boom, they come right back up and get Paris Johnson. So there is a lot of room to maneuver, even though you get out of that range of the elite prospects at 11 overall, there's always room to move back up. A guy can dream, Gambo. A guy can dream. Sure. I'm going to dream about that. I'm going to dream that they move down and move back up and get one of the top three wide receivers and everybody goes home happy on April 25th. Dreams that's one of the nightmares. That, that's, that, is, that is true. And, and uh, you know, I, I the, the vision I saw earlier of you on Twitter today with your eyes lit up nice and red like you were shooting lasers. I'm going to I'm gonna have like, visions of that. It's like you, you got to sometimes just fall asleep. you got to change your thought process, right? The other night you go to the bed, the, the Suns had just lost the game to the Clippers at home and they didn't have two of their best players. And, <laughs> like, so you got to change. So instead of, like, thinking about that game, think about, but wouldn't it be nice to have three first round draft picks? Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? That'd be yeah. really good. Three first round draft picks, and then move up and get Roma Dunze, or or heck, maybe Roma even Dunze. you you move up to to number five with the Chargers. Maybe they want to move down, and you two still get Marvin Harrison Jr. when it's year, all said and done. Yeah, you're gonna right, have two first round right. picks in twenty six. Yeah, uh, that's the way you got to think, man. We uh, we always put a little extra weight on certain mock drafters over others, and we certainly do that with Mel Kiper Jr. I'll give Mel credit. He he is yet to bend. He has yet to break. He released his latest mock draft yesterday, and he still has the Cardinals stay and put number four and taking Marvin Harrison Jr. Bravo, uh, Mel. Bravo. Uh, me, me and Mitch are both there. Me and Mitch are both in that category right now. Where you think they're just going to stay put and take Marvin Harrison Jr.? Yeah. Oh man, we 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 might have a Bob loose. We got a bet here. If you're if you're willing to if you're willing to wager me on if you're willing to wager me a lunch on this one. The, the bet would be not that they get Marvin Harrison Jr., but that the but Cardinals trade. make a pick. I'm not at there yet. Four. I'm not okay. there yet. Right now, I you know, right now, I, I that that would be my bet is they stay at four. Okay. I, I mean, that's a lot of. I don't JJ McCarthy. Like really? Like I don't know. I'm not buying the JJ McCarthy thing. Uh, Mitch, you got something you want to add to the conversation? Bob we got a bet here. We don't have a bet. We don't no, have no, no, oh, no, Mitch wants to make a bet. I'm in. Ooh. Or Mitch wants to make a bet. I will bet you a lunch that the Cardinals make a pick at four. Oh, let's go. In this upcoming draft. Let's go. I'm calling it two weeks out. They will make a pick at yeah. four, and that pick is going to be Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's go. This is exact details. Done. Done. And okay. you're taking this anything this else. Isn't, this isn't they're making a pick for somebody else. No, no, no. no they are is... staying at four and taking MHJ. Okay. That is my bet. That is your bet. And I'm saying, no, they are not. They are not staying at four. They're not. To, I'm saying they're not staying at four. That they are going to move out of four. Right. That's the bet. Okay. So what happens? Let's let's just clear the parameters. What happens if they stay at four and take somebody else? <laughs> we all lose our minds. Is what happens. Okay. We all come to work the but next from a day bet parameter. and we just drink. That's all we do. We we don't. We, we, well, well, the three of us do. Gambo doesn't because he doesn't in, in, engage. Yeah, in we'll that just kind give him a, the virgin cocktail. Uh, or something. Exactly. We all just we all just have cocktails all day. We're like, well, I didn't see that one coming. In that unlikely scenario, they stay at four and don't take Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. The bet is null and void. Okay. 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 I just need proper parameters before I enter it in officially. Okay. But there you go. You Gambo, and me. Mitch, and I have a bet. Of course, that? of course, it's still, if you want it, it's still there with you. You've just got okay. to decide you want it. You just let okay. me know. Okay? All right. All right. Yep. Sounds good. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.